to Ritu now. Ritu, the other story that you've been tracking, you know, it's been 10 days since the government announced the move to demonetize old 500,000 rupee notes, and they are trying to restore normalcy, but you are picking up from sources that as of today, uh, and this number will change tomorrow, because as of today, 16.5% of the total number of ATMs have been recalibrated so far. In fact, Shireen, the recalibration of ATMs, that exercise is ongoing even as we speak. Uh, the latest numbers we have are as of 7 p.m. this evening. And that, as you pointed out, is 16.5 percent of the total number of ATMs in the country, uh, which is about 34,609 out of the 2.1 lakh ATMs in the country, which have been recalibrated. This is not to say that the other ATMs are non-functional completely. They're only dispensing the 100 rupee notes, whereas the ATMs that have been recalibrating are in a position to dispense the new 2,500 rupee notes as well. Uh, the recalibration exercise has been ongoing ever since the RBI uh, set up that special task force to look into this matter particularly. So the numbers have been rising over the last three days from 10,000, 12,000 and now they're targeting about 14,000 by the end of today. Uh, but still the pace of recalibration means uh, there is only a limited number of custodians which is 40,000, a limited number of engineers to recalibrate ATMs, which is 2,000. So even at this pace, it may take about 20 or days uh, to complete the uh, exercise for the entire country. Because remember, right now what they're targeting is the heavily populated areas, the metro ATMs. By the time they reach out to the far-flung areas, the pace of recalibration may perhaps slow down. So, uh, you know, the government has been promising it may take one week for normalcy to return. But going by this data alone, and it is a very rough uh, back of the envelope ca calculation, it looks like uh, it may be mid-December by the time some normal seem to return, at least as far as the functionality of ATMs is concerned. Well, Ritu, we